Charlie Lama, she can handle you in earnest. She got her god name Ernest, and she got you on the side, and it's gonna work. So yes, I know what the <laughs> word means, but still, hey. That they're doing. I think that's why we see a lot of black women, black women in particular, who refuse to actually be wrong because they don't see themselves as liar is liars. They just see you as always being wrong as the man, and they are justified in their feelings. So that makes them right because they feel like they are right. Not necessarily means that they are right. Uh, they are right. It's just that they have a feeling that they are right. So what you think about that, Mister T? Um, I, I can that can hold some truth to it, you know. Uh, the the worst thing you can do is lie to yourself and believe it. That's the one of the worst things you could do to lie to yourself and believe it. And a lot of these women really feel like they've been victimized, so they can tell you what they want to tell you to keep them safe. What they they feeling they're being safe, but you know they can tell you what they want to tell you because they feel that that's a way of their to, to keep them protected some women have you ever experienced that before just like where you know that she was lying but 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 she had to lie to make herself feel emotionally protected yeah i've experienced that um I've, I've experienced that with um um somebody in my past you know um i've experienced that still you know, some stuff goes on and it, it, it happens. It happens. So they you they that you believe. Don't want to talk about it? That's what yeah, I, this, this is a little bit too early. So <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk about that. But how about, <laughs> how about you, CB Smith? Well, so he said the worst thing that you can do is lie to yourself. But actually, when I think on the, when I think on what the book says, the book says, speak those things that be not as though they were. And so actually it can serve you if you learn how to employ it properly. I think that what you have is women speaking things that be not as though they were and then not doing anything in order to make it materialize as they want it to be seen, right? So what I mean by that is I tell them all the time, right? Uh, how is it that you want someone else to see you the way that you have not first seen yourself? If you saw yourself that way, then all of your behaviors, all of your disciplines, all of your priorities, all of your focus, all of your energy and your effort would align with the way that you say you see yourself. So, for instance, one of the lies that one of the lies that women tell themselves since we since you say, you know, the worst thing you can do is lie to yourself is they tell themselves, oh, I'm not fat. I'm voluptuous. Or I'm thick. <laughs> well, if that's how you really see yourself, then control what you control you control what you eat and take your butt to the gym, right? And put in them reps in order to see yourself the way that you want to be seen. So, yeah, but I think mm. the lie is they see themselves as being sexy at that size. So, and I think that's the lie well, of protectionism. And that, that and that, and that's about. part that's part of the that's part of the danger of dealing with them right because for them the delusion is actually real and then you have other women that are willing to co-sign on that lie and so they feel validated they feel verified i'm with you well a lot of i, I think uh sometimes uh, a person can tell them that they uh look that way they look beautiful you know the way that they are and all this stuff and to give them confidence and then sometimes they can take on that persona as if they are beautiful because somebody have validated them to make them think that they are but you know what may be beautiful to you may not be beautiful to me or what may be sexy to you may not be sexy to me so i think that it's it's put where it is you know so if was you can't deny if a woman is 450 pounds, you know, that she, you know, is skinny. She, you know, that, that ain't true. So 
But in her mind, she may be thinking that she's beautiful. And maybe she may be to some people, but maybe not be to all people. So I think. You're a real good guy, Mr. T. I, I like that. <laughs> like at the end of the day, I, I, I let you say, him, right? <laughs> like, it's just, you are an outstanding gentleman. Like one thing I know about good guys, good guys always make bad decisions at the right time. And right now, what you're talking about is nonsense. Let me tell you, when it comes to these women who tell these lies and how they operate and what they be thinking oh my about, God. my whole thing is it's worse when guys. You went out. Yeah. So as stated, um, so when it comes to that, Let's look at these guys, right, who are proponents of not checking some of these women that lead these lies. See, I think part of the discussion also is when people give Kevin Samuels flack, it was because he was checking these lies because it's like, look, before we can even have a true discussion, let's address these lies that some people believe or they perpetuate. And so it's really a correction thing. It was not a bashing a woman. It's like, look, for us to have functional relationships, we need y'all to correct some behaviors. And some of these lies you got out here carrying on in the street ain't good for a successful relationship. Right. And so, you know, when I look at the big scheme of things, Yes, men tell lies too, but my thing is, I think it's 50-50 because if, if you took a study, mostly everybody lies. I don't think one sex lies more than the other. It just depends what you're lying about. A man may lie lying. within a relationship. Look, no, 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 it's not the truth. Hey, would you one, say C.B. Smith stop lying? C.B. Smith, you think men my question to you gentlemen with all that said is do men lie more than women do you think that's the case since of course we on the topic of lies why why yes. are you so sure on that tell me because we like peace right one of the things is we love peace so but we like to do stuff our own way we like to get away with stuff right but if we were to be totally honest with with a lot of stuff that comes out of mind and really act in our way then it'll be chaos so in order to keep peace keep the lie alive keep the lie alive keep the lie alive keep the lie alive i think men do want peace but i think it's a deeper thing there men want coochie and sex so, <laughs> <laughs> so they gonna lie to get it <laughs> so there, we got <laughs> there is the truth bomb <laughs> We want sex above all things. So anything to keep this thing going until we can get to that bedroom, we will keep that lie alive and keep it moving. I can't disagree with you on that one, Mr. T. I want to, but I can't. I can't. At least up front, me and lie probably a lot more. And during the relationship, while we are trying to keep peace to get some coochie to, to get to our next, trying to get our next piece of coochie. But yeah, we, lie, we lie more. They lie bigger. <laughs> yeah, lies, break that down. Their lies, their lies are, their lies are gargantuan, and I mean it's, it's anything from, well, usually I don't do this, to uh, you to, to you to daddy, to uh, you great me. Yeah, I need to make sure I take that out. So, gotcha. Hey, what's some more? Right. What's some? What's some other stuff that y'all? Yeah, yeah, what's some other stuff that they say? I'm, I got, I'm dating with a purpose. I'm looking for real love. I, I mean, people can validly scary. believe that. That's that's neutral. That ain't as bad. See, it got to be the li like the lies where you know you got a whole kid hidden, and I don't know, you know, crazy stuff like that. And like, oh, you single? No, you a single mother. Stuff like that, <laughs> or you know, you got a whole guy still ducked off to the side because we know it's it's not too many people entering or leaving clean relationships right and so uh you know as mr life references so when you think about all of that hey them lies it's fair game at that point man i think it's just fair game all across the board social media has made it fair kids are lying at an all-time high employers are lying to employees at an all-time high the government is definitely lying at an all-time high so you damn sure baby mamas and baby daddies are also lying at an all-time high shoot <laughs> Part of the problem, I think, though, is that lying is actually encouraged, right? So women say that they want an honest man, but the second a man is honest with them, they 
they lose their ever loving mind. And, and, and I think I'm a perfect example of that because I tell the truth all the time. And I, I can tell you, boy, they go in on me simply because I tell the truth. But you, you sound know, like I'm Donald Trump. Truth. Yeah, I, I'm in a I'm in a different space. Like I've gotten to a point where while I, I obviously want that intimate physical connection with a woman, you know, I don't let that I don't let that direct my decisions, right? And so I have no problem with telling you the truth because if you can't handle me in earnest, then where are we gonna go from there? I don't want to spend all my time lying to you in order in order to you know uh be able to connect with you. Harley Lama, she can handle you in earnest. She got her guy named Ernest and she got you on the side and it's gonna work. So yes, I know what the <laughs> word means, but still, hey, that's what she gonna do. And that's the problem with these women out here in the streets. They do wanna lie with you in earnest and in and, and JoJo and Day Day and all these other guys. And that's why when Tia uh, Maori got the business and y'all can check out the clip by Mr. Life, you know what I'm saying? It's out there doing his thing. But when you check that out, you understand that these women think they know what they want, so they'll lie their way out. Thanks for watching, and good night, bitches. Yeah, boy.